Hi guys, Dr. Axe here. I want to talk about gut testing. I'm so excited to talk about this because it literally saved and transformed my life, my family's life, and thousands of patients. It's the biggest missing test out there in conventional medicine. And it's probably the reason that you've been going to your doctor, they're throwing you around, having tests done, they say they're all normal, and you're still not feeling well. So we're gonna go over exactly what gut testing is and um, how it can change your life. So this is actually me, I had horrible eczema, I thought I had an infection, and it turned out to be gut issues that the stool test was able to identify, and I'm totally clear of eczema that really covered half my body. Um, these are my blood work panels, you can see here in, where it says 289. That was my immune system attacking and damaging my thyroid, causing anxiety, fatigue, uh, loss of hair. Um, and then at the very bottom here, you can see it goes from 289 to 40. That was just from doing stool testing, uh, testing and fixing my gut. I went from having an autoimmune disease, chronic fatigue, feeling horrible, food allergies, eczema, to not having any of it. So again, this really changed my life and that's why I'm so passionate about it. And I can show you this exact same story with hundreds of patients. So what, what do GI issues or gut imbalances cause? Now one thing I wanna say about that is you can have GI issues and have no gut symptoms at all, right? You could have normal, what seems like normal digestion but still have gut issues, right? It could look and feel totally normal. They call that silent gut, okay? So what, do, what issues can it cause though, right? All autoimmune disease, 80% of the immune systems in the gut, food sensitivities, uh, allergies, it can cause constipation, diarrhea, chronic fatigue, your gut uses a ton of energy. So if it's not working correctly, you're gonna have no energy to function normally, okay? Heart palpitations. It can cause deficiencies that can cause, lead to heart palpitations. Anxiety and depression. Your gut is your second brain, okay? So if your second brain's not working well, your normal brain's not gonna work well, hence brain fog, hence mood disorders like anxiety, depression. Okay, and all known skin, skin conditions. Skin issues are gut issues, period, okay? So a lot of people are frustrated. They've been to their doctor. They've maybe even asked, hey, there's something wrong with my gut or hey, the um, autoimmune disease, what's wrong? And so why aren't doctors helping or why are they telling you your blood works normal? Uh, it's because most doctors are running tests to look for emergencies and major disease not dysfunction. You have dysfunction in the gut, you don't have disease in the gut, okay? So they will tell you your blood work looks normal and you probably just have anxiety, uh, give you some random diagnosis, throw a medication at you, right? They might say you have fibromyalgia or you have IBS, which is a total BS diagnosis. It's not even a real thing, right? They're just giving you a word so that you'll leave. Um, and the test is normal because you don't have major disease, you have dysfunction. Okay, I like this little graphic here on the left. Good news, your test indicates that you're in the normal range. When normal is right in the middle, that's, no, you need to be working at 100%, not working at 50%, okay? So, alive versus healthy. Again, an example of this, doctors don't diagnose people with kidney issues until their kidneys operate at 40% function, okay? A lot of people's guts are working at 50, 60% function, Therefore, doctors don't diagnose it. So kidneys is a great example. Again, your doctor will not tell you that until they're at 40% and you need dialysis, right? Way, you're way, way too far past healthy. And the same is true with the gut. That's why they're not telling you. So what, what causes GI issues? It is the um, exact American lifestyle, and that's why it's such an epidemic. Antibiotics are what trigger it for a lot of people. I had acne and the doctor gave me, my dermatologist gave me antibiotics at a very young age and that's what triggered it for me. And I got a lot of sinus infections and that also, I was given antibiotics and that really cascaded the problem. Um, pain medication, right, that can slow mo mo motility in the gut and cause uh, overgrowth of bacteria. Sugars and starches feed these pathogenic um, bacteria, parasites, viruses. Um, improper probiotic use. Taking probiotics incorrectly or if you don't need them can cause more damage than good. And that was the case for me. I tried taking probiotics, it was actually getting worse. Uh, nerve impingements, there's nerves that go to your gut. A lot of people sit a lot, 
have back issues and those nerves um, innervate your gut. Mental stress, right? Mental stress is huge. And decrease in stomach acid. Stomach acid is how you kill pathogenic bacteria and how you digest your food into smaller pieces that can be absorbed into the GI system. So decrease in stomach acid is another big one. Let's talk about some of the top supplements for the gut. And then I'm going to go into stool testing and how you can start to change your gut. But here's some, some, some quick ones. Betaine HCL, that is actual stomach acid, which we just talked about. Secondly, most people have an overgrowth of bacteria. So oil of oregano is antimicrobial and can lower that bacteria count. Raw garlic is amazing. It's super cheap. You can eat it whenever, and that helps with insulin regulation, helps with overgrowth of bacteria in the gut. And as far as probiotics, there's a yeast-based one that doesn't affect your microbiome as much, but helps actually boost your immune system. And that's called uh, Saccharomyces boulardii is a big one. Colostrum, that's what's in women's breast milk, that also builds the immune system, helps thicken the gut membrane, okay? And then aloe vera and ginger, and you can make that into tea. Slice up some ginger, throw it in hot water, boil that for 30 minutes. Amazing for digestion, amazing for the gut. So again, these are just a couple top ones that you guys can start to implement today to start to see some improvements. Let's, let's talk about some of the top diets for the gut, okay? GAPS diet is the first one. Um, GAPS is a lot of broth and vegetables and soup, right? Everything mushy, it really thickens the membrane on your gut. A lot of people that's thinned out over time and the bacteria can't live there. There's a lot of inflammation, right, which creates fatigue, skin issues. Um, so GAPS is amazing for that. Paleo or autoimmune paleo helps you identify things that you might be allergic to that you eat on a daily basis and a low or just a low carb, low sugar diet pathogenic bacteria, inflammatory foods, right, damage the gut. So getting the carbs and the sugars out will starve off anything pathogenic and let the good stuff grow. And then they'll also get inflammatory foods out so inflammation can clear out the gut. So these through dietary protocols and that whole supplement regimen that I showed you on the slide before, I have into a 90-day protocol. So anyone that's watching this and... Um, wants to be a part of what we do, they can sign up at the end of this. And we're actually gonna send you my 90 day gut clearing supplement protocol. And I'm gonna give you all the information for GAPS, autoimmune paleo, and low carb. So you can pick whichever one you want. I have guides, I have cookbooks, everything to do it yourself at home. So I'm gonna give you guys, for just for watching, you guys are gonna, and staying on to the end of this, I'm gonna give you guys all of those resources at no cost. Just because, you know, I want to help as many people as possible. I get excited because this literally saved and changed my life. And it almost upsets me. Like, guys, you know, you got to do this. This, this, These are the answers. Like, this isn't smoke and mirrors. This isn't a magic bullet. You got to put in the work. But I'm telling you guys, if you follow these protocols for the gut, you're guaranteed to get better. So, all right, let's keep going. So here's a, here's a testimonial. Um, she actually did um, some gut testing. She did the GAPS protocol and uh, major fatigue. And this is just a testimonial video. She went to 10 other doctors. She had MRIs. Uh, she saw her GI doctor like 10 different times, dermatologist for skin issues, fatigued all the time. Um, and just after about 90 days of doing this and the stool testing, boom, 100% better. So you can go right on my YouTube channel, Dr. Jordan X look up testimonials and then we got tons of them there and you can see for yourself that this works. We're a physical office, we're a real office, we're not some online scam kind of thing that's going on these days. You can find my website, axolisticmedicine.com, you can find me on YouTube, you can see all my patients. Um, so pr pretty cool testimonials. Um, so what are the top three tests for the gut? There's two main stool testing companies. One's called Diagnostic Solutions, and I love their test results. That's how I overcame Hashimoto's skin issues and chronic fatigue and anxiety. Uh, Genova Diagnostics is another great company. Um, if you're unable to maybe afford one of these tests, you can go to your doctor and uh, ask for a basic stool culture. Say you wanna get tested for H. pylori, you wanna check for any bacteria pathogens, elastase, and calprotectin, and those markers can help start. But again, these are only four markers. These other tests give us 100 markers. 
So it's literally only 4% of what we actually need. Um, but again, regular insurance doesn't always cover the full task because they don't think it's necessary. They only want to cover four tasks instead of 100, uh, which is you need, you need the full picture to know exactly what's going on. So here's a, uh, a stool test of me and how I figure this out. You can see right here at the top, it says H. pylori right here. Let's see if I can highlight this. H. pylori right here at the top. You can see mine was positive 6.3 times to the fifth power, really, really high. And that was causing me to not digest my food properly, a lot of uh, maldigestion. And then what that caused was a bacterial overgrowth. And that's why I couldn't take probiotics. And right here where it says normal bacteria, look at high, 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 uh, Bactertides family, high, Firmicutes family. So I was just high, high, high in everything. And I couldn't figure out why everything was making me worse. I couldn't eat anything normal because I had this major bacteria overgrowth. And if I hadn't done a stool test, I never, never would have ever fathomed this was the case. Okay. Um, and then it caused an overgrowth of bacteria again one two three four five different strains of overgrowth bacteria um, and then here you can see this also tests for protozoa it tests for worms and parasites it shows you elastase that's how much stomach acid you're making right i was only making 300 this should be 600 no idea i wasn't making enough stomach acid right? i was having reflux i thought i was making too much but i wasn't making enough in this stool test help me figure that out. I wasn't breaking down any of my fat, okay? And it was undigested and causing major stomach issues, skin issues, gallbladder issues, liver issues, and chronic fatigue from not being able to digest these fats, okay? It shows you liver function, beta-glucuronidase. It shows you your immune system, if it's high or low, right? If you're getting sick all the time, you can't fight things off. A lot of times people have an, their immune system just totally tanked. And so this tells us how to correct that. And then my inflammation was high. So it gives you an inflammatory marker. So you can see this is a really, really in-depth test that tells you everything you need. So I'm gonna show you one out of a thousand examples of how this test helps with a very specific treatment protocol. This protocol changed my life. It got me from chronic fatigue, anxiety, depression, um, not being able to function normally, skin issues all over to functioning normally, starting my own holistic medicine and practice, all from this one test. So my regimen, very simple. I took a Gastromend H. pylori supplement. That killed H. pylori. I took an antimicrobial supplement right here, okay? And then I took betaine, four capsules, which is a lot. That's stomach acid so I could digest my proteins, okay? Did that for a month. After that month, I discontinued, and then, so phase two, I took uh, colostrum, which actually helps boost the IgA immune system in the gut, and I started taking an ox bile, which actually helps you digest and break down your fats fully. Again, so there's just two phases, it was very simple, and it made a huge difference to my gut health and my overall health. And again, I couldn't have done this without stool testing in the direction from a well-trained functional medicine doctor. So, uh, you know, story about me, again, I overcame all this. I'm now in the best health of my life. My dad's in great health, he's 70. This is me and him water skiing the other day. And I'm doing the things that I love. I'm not going to the doctor every day, taking steroid creams, uh, antibiotics, just feeling like crap. I actually, you know, have my life back. And that's what it's all about, it's not just about um, not being sick, it's about having energy to do the things you want to do and living life to the fullest. And I'm now doing that with my family and my patients and everyone around me. So pretty cool. Another testimonial. This lady had five autoimmune disease, chronic fatigue, and um, she had multiple scans. She was part of the VA, was in and out of the VA for 10 years, couldn't get any better. Fatigue, just really bad anxiety, really bad depression, couldn't get up in the morning and totally gone now after doing stool testing and going through uh, some of the dietary protocols and supplements we've, we've put together. So again, just totally changed her life. So I, I put a special offer to, together for everyone because I know this can be really expensive and I spent thousands of dollars. So we've, been, we've worked hard working with the laboratory at lowering their costs as much as possible so we can put this offer to get, uh, together. 
So what we're including is a one hour doctor appointment with myself or one of our other functional medicine doctors. We can go through your entire history, your entire lifestyle, uh, do additional testing if we need to, go over your stool test results and put a specific plan together, about a 90 day plan that you can do on your own. We're gonna give you our gut online program, all the diets, all the resources, everything you need to treat yourself. That's normally 150. And we're gonna include the stool testing, which is normally the lab charges 425, and we've worked with them to get that price down. So through our offer, we're able to do all of this for 395, okay? You can't even get the test done for that, okay? So you're basically getting online program and the hour consultation with myself or the other doctor for, for, for free, essentially. So again, or maybe you just wanna consult, talk to the doctor, figure out um, maybe some other tests you can do, maybe dietary, hormonal testing. And for that, we're gonna give you a discount on that as well, just 125 for that consult only. So again, I hope that helps. I really wanna do something to give back and try to make this affordable for the average person. Um, so we fill out the form below and I'm gonna have my office manager reach out to you and answer any questions that you have. You don't have to sign up. It's just so you can figure out, is this the right test for me? Should I get another route? Should I see someone else? What do I need to do? We're gonna help guide you through that, okay? Or you can just call us if you really wanna talk to someone a little bit sooner until she can call you. And there's the number at the bottom of the screen. Check our website out, um, our physical location, axolisticmedicine.com. But again, so excited to bring this test to you. I, go, I know it's gonna make a huge difference. But guys, you're never gonna get better if you don't take action and start to change things out. This is your chance, this is your opportunity to get better, get your health back, and quit getting pushed around from doctor to doctor, not getting the answers you need. It changed my life, it changed my family's life, and guys, if you submit your information and take this step towards health, I know I can help, and I know I can get you guys better. Thanks.